just a quick uh, little tip. Look, I give these guys, especially the new ones, uh, live and rich brine shrimp. If it's just live, there's not a lot of nutrition. You gotta enrich them. You gotta make sure they eat concentrated fat acids and it's pretty much fish grease and omega-3. So let me show you. This way, I got all the the the, the Mandarin gobies eating. See. They see the movement and they, they eat uh, the enriched brine shrimp. So that's a really good tip. If you get new fish that is wild, that's what they are looking for. And what happens also, as the brine shrimp, I put it in like where the water comes in. And it kind of drags it and then all falls. One falls, the other one falls. And then these guys right here. Are just hanging right there, waiting for the food to come up, to come out. So this is a way you, you can, uh, well, in a commercial system. But in your tank, you can even set up a little cage, because the brine shrimp stays alive. You know, they are highly adaptable to to salinities. That's why they call it brine shrimp. So any hard fish will definitely go after brine shrimp. So look at those little six lines. Look, off. look at that belly. <laughs> so fatty. You see, look at those guys right there. Look, they're all eating the the brine shrimp that falls. And the brine shrimp stays alive, you know. It's not like it will go bad. And the portion of uh, brine shrimp is a lot cheaper than, uh, than for example, uh, copepods. And copepods, if they are not fed, also they will lose nutrition. Oh, forgot to wish I got the huge. I know where that one is going, all right? It's to uh, one of my service accounts. Well, if you have something like a lionfish, you gotta give them like a bigger shrimp, like uh, ghost shrimp or uh, seagrass shrimp, that kind of stuff. Royal grammas, you know, uh, some fish are easy, they don't really need, but I just, I just, I just feed them. So let me show you the brine shrimp. See, that's an annularis. Annularis angel. It's a baby one. Gets a lot bigger. How are you doing? So I got the brine shrimp in this cone right here. Keep them alive. And then we enrich the brine. With this, let me show you. With silicone. Just a little squirt. Well, a little squirt might be too much. But uh, just follow the directions for the quantity. I do like two squirts for like a bucket of uh, gallon bucket or three liters. Oh yeah, guys. So that's a that's a pro tip. Take care. Bye. So I got those uh, barbanantes also eating the the live brine. See their belly, how fat they are. Look at that. 